telegram. Aha! The press club. Katie, I could kiss you. You do, and your lips are history. <laughs> this is it. The mother load. I can hardly wait. <clears throat> this is to inform you that you have been chosen this year's man of... Year. Oh, no. What's the matter? This is terrible. What is it? <laughs> Read it. Congratulations, Benson. You've been chosen man of the year. <laughs> me? I could have told you it was for Benson if you would have given me a chance. Nice going, Benson. Me? I'm sorry I was gone so long. Those photographers take forever. Hmm, where's Clayton? Well, he never showed up. Really? You made such a fuss about being here. Oh, uh, Benson, aren't you going to say something about the way I look in my new dress? I would, Krauss, but I'm afraid everyone would think I was choking on a chicken bone. <laughs> Speaking of new clothes, Benson, I thought you got a new tuxedo. I did, but Krauss lost it. I did not. I told you I hung it in the closet in your office. Then somewhere in the mansion is a very fat moth. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Huh? Limo never showed up. I had to take a cab. Hope they didn't start without me. That's my new tuxedo. Say what? You are wearing my brand new custom tailored, double breasted, incredibly expensive tuxedo. This tuxedo happened to be in my closet in my office with my name in it. I'm telling you, you're wearing my brand new tuxedo. Let me see the label. Could I have everyone's the... attention, please? Oh, I'm so <laughs> down there it. <laughs> He's about to present the award. As you all know, the Press Club's Man of the Year Award is presented to the person whose work most enhances the general welfare of this state. And this year's recipient is a shining example of what this award embodies. It is with great pleasure that I present the Man of the Year Award to Lieutenant Governor Benson Dubois. What's gotten into him? <laughs> <laughs>